The rise of Inter Miami. Heading into the 2022 MLS season, Inter Miami was expected to be one of the worst teams in the league after missing the playoffs the year before. Many questions were asked about the team after the club went around a massive overhaul in the offseason, letting go of big name signs such as Rodolfo Pizarro, Leandro Gonzalez Perez, and Nicolas Figal. The doubt didn't stop there as the team hit rock bottom in the start of the season, losing four of their first five matches. Manager Phil Neville C was on fire as it looked like 2022 would be horrible for Miami. Despite this, the Herons were able to bounce back as the team hit their stride late in the year, clinching a playoff berth after beating in state rivals Orlando City 4 1 on October 5th. Goal scorer Gonzalo Higuaini is the main guy in the squad, a man with a guy like presence among his teammates. Even though the forward recently announced his plan to retire after 2022, Higuaini has been on a tear, scoring seven goals in Miami's last five matches. Ecuador international Leonardo Campana has been great out for a two, scoring 11 goals in 21 starts. He was the team's main goal scoring threat at the start of their campaign when Higuaini was benched. Summer acquisition Alejandro Pozuelo was a savvy move from the front office to improve the squad. They only gave up 150 k in general allocation money to get the 2020 MVP from Toronto FC. Lining up as a 10 in Neville's 4-2-3-1 formation, the playmaker has been solid in the attack, racking up 6 assists this season. Add those stars to young talents like goalkeeper Drake Calendar and attacking midfielder Bryce Duke along with solid holding midfielders and Gene Malta and Gregory Gattuolo in the middle and you have one of the hottest teams in MLS right now heading to the postseason. Being one of the biggest surprises in the league, Inter Miami are playing like a real team as they look to make some noise in the MLS Cup playoffs. Will Inter Miami make a deep run this postseason? Comment down below.